What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Wow, this feels so weird. You guys can see what I'm doing. Maybe you can't. I'm actually standing up in this video. It is so weird, but I thought it'd be more entertaining, at least for me, because now I get to move around. I feel like a weatherman. Like, like, this thing is stuck to my back. Like, boom! Here's what the weather's gonna be like. It's snowy! No, I'm... I need to calm down. This is just so cool. Okay, we are in this video. We're going to be talking about five free agents for 2020 that the Detroit Lions should look at. Let's get it started. Five free agents Detroit Lions should look at. Now, I'm actually going to be doing two separate videos, an offensive video and a defensive video. But in this video, we're doing the defense. Okay, because defense is a pretty big need right now. We have a lot of needs defensively. And I think there's a lot of good free agents. Like, if you guys just scroll through some of the free agents that will be available in 2020, you'd be like, dang, there's some good players out there. I'm not sure what I'm doing there. I need to calm down. This is not how other people talk. They go like this. So we're going to go like this. Okay, I'm going to call my... I'm sorry. It's my first time. You guys got to give me... Okay. Coming in at number five, I have Chris Harris Jr. Now, why do I put him on here? Well, one, because I thought we were actually going to trade for him. The Lions are apparently a little bit interested in him. And there's a chance that we do lose out on some corners after this season. Like guys like Rashad Melvin, who are only on a one-year deal. And maybe even Darius Slade, who, who has more than a year left on his deal. But... There are rumors that he won't be here next season. So I'm not exactly sure how that could go, but that does mean Detroit Lions will need some replacements. And is Chris Harris maybe the perfect replacement? Probably not. He's not super young, but he could be helpful for at least one year. And Chris Harris would be nice for the Detroit Lions, especially if a guy like Rashawn Melvin is out. I would love to bring another cornerback. The Detroit Lions are apparently interested somewhat in this guy because they tried to trade for him. So I think Chris Harris Jr. would make a lot of sense. He comes in at number five. And if he comes in at number five, you know we have a lot of good players on this list. Let's get into number four. Into number four, we have Vic Beasley. Now, Vic Beasley is another guy that I was interested at the trade deadline. You'll see this. It's very similar. A lot of guys I'm interested at the trade deadline. Vic Beasley is one of those guys from the Atlanta Falcons. He is an edge rusher. And right now, edge rushers can always be used. You can always have edge rushers. You can never have too many edge rushers. Because one, they get injured. Two, they get tired. Three, you need them on the field, especially when you don't blitz anybody. So we need edge rushers, and Vic Beasley could be one of those guys. Play on the edge, like a Devon Kennard, like a Romeo Wakora. One of those type of players. I like the thought of Vic Beasley being a Detroit Lion. I think he would definitely help out on the edge. He's a very talented player. We didn't make any moves at the trade deadline, but we tried to. We didn't make any, though. We didn't make anything happen, but really no one did. That was the most boring trade deadline ever. Like, it was that boring. But Vic Beasley is a guy that could be an opportunity this offseason. He comes in at number four. Now, let's get into the top three. Coming in at number three, I have Deion Jones, the linebacker from the Falcons. Now, Deion Jones is only 25 years old. 25 years old, so you're not getting an old linebacker. Now, he may want a pretty nice contract. That's that's the one downside. Linebackers have struggled this season. And Deion Jones is a talented linebacker who is not very old. We're not getting a guy that's washed up. No, we are getting a good, good linebacker that is still young that will probably want a pretty big contract. But when you look at our linebacker core, yes, Jared Davis had a good last game. But we can still use another linebacker. I'm okay with keeping around Jared Davis. I absolutely am. But I would love to have another linebacker to mix in there, especially with the hybrid type of defense that Matt Patricia runs. Another linebacker could not hurt, especially a talented one like Deion Jones. Maybe he can help out some of the other guys like Jelani Tavai. Heck, maybe he can help out Jared Davis. And I think Matt Patricia would really like to have another good linebacker out there, especially with the defense that he tries to play. Now, let's get into it. In the number two is another linebacker. Now, this man is a little bit older, but... He's very, very talented, and that's why he came on here. This is Bobby Wagner. Now, Bobby Wagner, you may think of him as an old guy, right? He's going to be like 30 years old. He's an old man. No, he's not. Well, actually, yeah. I mean, I mean, at football standards, he's kind of old. But Bobby Wagner is so talented. I mean, this would be a great move for the Detroit Lions. Bobby Wagner would probably win a pretty nice contract, even though he is old. But he was known as one of the best linebackers in the NFL currently. Very, very talented. And right now, when you look at our, our linebacker core, like I said, we got a lot of young, unexperienced guys that could use some help. Bobby Wagner would fit in perfectly. He'd be a mentor, teach some guys. And not only that, he would kick butt on the field for at least a few more years. He'd be a really talented player. Now, he may be coming out of his prime, so this is probably the last time that you want to make a push to go get a guy like Bobby Wagner. But it may be worth it. In 2020, we are expecting to have a big, big season. This is when you kind of go get these guys, right? You go get veterans when you feel like you're going to be competing for a championship. Instead of just getting all these young guys that you can pile up that get better in future, now you're competing for a championship, which I hope they are next year, and I hope they are this year. I hope they are every year. But I think Bobby Wagner would be a really good choice, and he's going to be an available free agent. We'll see what happens there. And finally, coming to number one, you may be surprised that he's at number one. I'm honestly a little bit surprised I put him at number one. I did, though. And that is Leonard Williams, the defensive lineman for the Jets. Now, Leonard Williams, again, 
a guy I was interested in at the trade deadline. Yes, you guys have caught on by now. I am stuck to this thing. Leonard Williams is a good, good defensive lineman, and he also plays defensive tackle, and that, I think, is where we're going to need help. Yes, edge rusher is nice, but defensive tackle could be very, very helpful. You guys pointed out that I missed, that I forgot about Kevin Strong. I absolutely did. I apologize. Kevin Strong is a very talented lineman that has a bright future, but... It does not hurt to add another lineman to that group, especially when injuries are a thing. Mike Daniels may be out after this season. I would not be surprised at all. Now you're left with H. Tom Robinson, Snacks Harrison, who did get that extension, Kevin Strong. Now, Snacks Harrison's future, right? He's kind of slowed down a little bit this year. He is aging. It would be nice to bring in another lineman. And Leonard Williams, so talented, would probably be our best defensive tackle at this time until the other guys get better, you know, and then he's a little bit regressing. Snacks Harrison is. But it would also take some pressure off of Snacks Harrison, getting a really good defense tackle. I think defense tackle is one of our biggest needs. It's like a sleep need like a sleeper car no idea why i said that look i am so bouncy right now i'm sorry i'm so excited this is so cool we're going to be doing this for now on as long as it doesn't come out terrible if it does you guys won't know anyways because i won't upload it but there you go those are my top five free agents that we could be interested in after this season in 2020 that could be available for us to bring in so let me hear your thoughts comments below let me hear some available free agents i may have forgot about and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching and i'm out